Welcome to King of the Fish. We're down here at Hartleyland uh, Fishery at uh, me and Karina. She's behind the camera there. Hi. Uh, we're on Heineken, which is a, a lake that's just got two swims on it. Um, so we're just fishing two rods each. There's fish in here up to over 30 pounds, and they are all over 20 pounds as well. So if we do get a, a fish, if we do get a run, it's going to be a really good fish. Um, yeah, we've got a lovely orchard behind us, which we'll show you, uh, we'll show you later. We've got all the gear out on the floor. Um, yeah, so we're just discussing what we're gonna, where we're gonna go. We've just seen a couple of fish already jump out in Karina's side, the right hand side. So uh, yeah, so we're, uh, what we're gonna do is get the divvy up, and then uh, we're gonna sit down and then uh, get the rods out. So going into our first evening now, Karina's got one rod out on a trod rig. Um, what bait was it? It was a plum ice yellow yeah. bait where it'll pop up. And this is another one she's putting out. It's a stiff hinge rig with a garlic boil as a pop up. And that's just gonna sit there on the bottom of the lake bed hopefully. All right, waiting for a big fat carp. We haven't tested it in the water yet to see if, it, uh, if it's buoyant enough or it sinks. So, it's a little bit buoyant, but with a, let's see, when you drop the rig, sometimes if you squeeze the pop up under water, it lets some of the air out and it will sink. I think that did go a little bit. If not, we'll just have to cut a little bit of the pop up off. I don't usually like to trim a bit off but because this is only for one night and then we're changing the morning if we don't get a fish that ain't a massive issue that because that will just take in water now mm -hmm. and it'll get less buoyant over time I'm just going to do a tiny bit more on it because overnight it will drop down anyway I think Yeah. Right, I think that's working properly. So no matter what you do, that rig's gonna sit properly now. You can still smell it. You can smell the garlic part. Yeah. See it how it sits down really slowly. Yeah, it's hard to see on here, but It's lovely, that's perfect. Cool. Right, let's get this clipped on. Clipped on Karina's second uh, rod <laughs> and uh, cast it out, honey. Yep. Let's go. <laughs> well, this is our first morning and we're onto a fish and the maggots. We've just both come running out with Vivi. It's a nice size. It's a a nice size common look, like the mirror. Ready as well.
Oh, I can't believe that. I've got a fish already. <laughs> Wake up a little bit, smack myself in the face. <laughs> right, go and sort myself out and then we can sort this fish out. Yeah, sounds good. 7.30, the rod's been in for four hours. <coughs> Absolutely screamed off. I come out to carnage really, because this rod was on top of the other rod. This had been ripped out, my, all my buzz bars had ripped out, but the screw is bent. The screw has been ripped out of there. It's actually bent over. Believe it. It was on there like that. It was, it was like that when I come round. <laughs> but because the size of this fish, that's why it's about it's, well, it's over twenty pound. Let's uh, set everything up and get it out. Let's show you, let's have a look. There's our maggots. One I cast out last night, just over there. Put one there, I put one over there. So I'm gonna get uh, get them both rods back out actually on maggots. One there and one over there somewhere. And maybe Karina might change today as well. I'll have to see what she wants to do. We've got a lovely, a lovely 20 plus pound mirror in here. Let's get her out, weigh her, take a few pictures and have a really good look at her. Belly. Put a belly on it. <coughs> <Stop>. <laughs> <laughs> it's big for him. It's big one. Yeah. <laughs> Says twenty three four. Just do one more measurement. That went a bit too quick then. So. Oh. Yeah, same. Twenty three four again. <laughs> That's the size that we take a pound off for the for the swing. Twenty two pound four. That's good. Our first fish. <laughs> Caught on tiny maggots. <laughs> Amazing. There you go, twenty four uh, twenty two pound four. Lovely mirror carp, half past seven on our first our first morning we woke up. Rod's been out about four hours. Uh, caught a maggot, well, small maggots and um, a bit of boiler. So we'll show you that in a little while and we'll show you the rib what we used as well. Look at that, absolutely stunning. Oh, it's a bit of a weight. <laughs> Looks it. Lovely. <laughs> Just woken up, had a coffee, um, recast my right hand rod, um, with a bag of maggots on it again, and uh, it's gone and it's absolutely ripped this time. I think it's the bigger fish than last time. It's really pulling line off the spores. Coming quite close now, but it was right over the back there. Oh, 
see it on the surface. If me and Karina are having new fish, we only had a fish a few hours ago, we, we're in for a really good session here. Definitely. We have a big fish on here. We're just about to sort Karina's rods out and change both of her rods to maggots. We are just talking about it then. Look at that, it is solid and it is just going where it wants basically. Look. Oh. I think this one's bigger than the last one. Yeah. Making my legs shake a little bit. <laughs> is it? <laughs> Lovely. Netting and filled at the same time, well done. You know. Lovely. <laughs> oh, blimey. I believe how lucky we've been. Look at that. Cool, that's 20 odd pound again, isn't it? They're all 20. Definitely. They're all 20s in here, aren't they? <laughs> right, I'm going to try and unhook this in the water and then we'll um, wrap up the, uh, the net properly, take it over and we'll get a picture. Lovely. Pre-wetted it all for uh, <laughs> pre-wetted all the uh... lovely fish. Wow! Just with water now. I'll move out of the way. <laughs> oh, these fish are just massive in here. Wow! This is just real good fishing, isn't it? <laughs> Can you see that from this side? Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> look at the size of this. <laughs> yeah. Doing it. That's Vera sucking the air. Can you? Vera. Oh, is that her? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. 
That's my biggest ever fish. No way. That is my biggest Honey. ever fish. Oh, bless oh you. <laughs> You're going to have to get a picture for Jake. I will. Let me get another thing of that. Oh my God. I can't believe it. <laughs> I can't believe it. 33 1. Whatever this is, okay. is our fish. 33 1. 33 2. Thank you, So it's Amazing. 32 pounds. 32 pound. My last biggest ever fish was 28 pounds, and that was actually on maggots as well. I can't believe it. It's starting to rain. Again. Oh my god. 32 pound one. Wow. Amazing. Amazing, babe. 32 pound one. A little pigo bag of maggots and a tiny little about eight mil dumbbell which will show you and show you all the ribs and stuff like that only two hours that was out as well the biggest fish <laughs> right let's get this beautiful fish back 32 pound one mirror my biggest ever fish and she's been really good as well. She's sat there, she's let us take loads of pictures. She hasn't kicked or anything like that. She's been really good. Let's get her back. Oh, she wants to go back now. <laughs> nice. Get her back nice and safely. In the sling. Fish. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> this is the PVA bags we're using to put the maggots in. Five meters micro mesh. It's the uh, funnel web. Original funnel web PVA system from a recorder. We don't always use this. This is just what I could get rid of at the time. Maggots, scoop them up in there. Let them drop down nicely. Not too tight, just put a few in at a time, otherwise they get all clogged up. There's got to be over 100 maggots in there. Right. Scoop them up. Great. I just like to just shake them down a little bit. It kind of compacts it, then you release a little bit more PVA pack them in there without them. If you can pack them too much, they wiggle out the holes. If you do it loosely, they can't get out as easy. It's just a little trick that me and Jay have learned that. Or Jay learned that one, he told me. There you are. That's it. Actually, see the maggots going down. That was at the top of this lip when we got here. Yeah. There's a few gone out there. Probably used about seven, eight hundred thousand maggots. About seven, eight hundred thousand maggots. About eight hundred to a thousand maggots. There you go. That's your, that's your PVA bag. PVA mesh bag. Just going to clip that on. Get it underneath a tree. And get Karina a lovely big fish. <laughs>
Here we've got a little friend. Is it is at our door? Look at him. Look how small he is. Poor little thing. Look, he's, that's a toad. But the frogs are uh, the frogs are smooth. The toads are all like that, all, all bumpy. Look at him there. Isn't he cute? Yeah. He's trying to get. And you see, he won't get, he won't get, you, don't worry, don't worry. Look at him now. Do you want to hold him? No, 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 it's okay. You want to hold him? No, it's very cute for me. And he's sweet. Yeah. Oh. yeah. I'm going to go and put him somewhere safe. safe. Yeah. Trying to get up my arm. He's climbing all the way up my arm. <laughs> <laughs> Little bugger. Right, I'm going to go and we'll put him somewhere safe. <laughs> Coming into our second evening now. Uh, we had our nice barbecue. We had a little kip in the bivvy as well because it was a bit shattered from last night because we didn't get to sleep till gone four last night. So we're now the rods and everything. So yeah, we've got a nice coffee. We've put all four rods back out. We've put actually three rods back out and Karina left her one that went right underneath the tree with a big massive PVA bag of maggots. Put about 400 maggots in there. Um, she left that where it is because it was, it was right underneath where we wanted it, so we left that. The other three rods we did change and we put um, just another bag on, another bag of maggots on each rod. Um, yeah, so it's about half ten now. All the rods are out and sorted. We've had our food from earlier. We're probably not going to eat any more food tonight. <laughs> maybe just a little bit of, a bit of munches later. Some crisp chocolates and bits of pieces, maybe. Yeah. We'll see anyway. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll catch up with you later. Hopefully we get a fish. So it's about 12 o'clock now. Um, everything's packed up outside all the way because we're expecting a little bit of rain tonight. Me and Karina are coming to bivy now, all ready for bed, all cosy. Got some snowballs. <laughs> so I'll probably munch into them, get them finished. Uh, yeah, all the rods are all settled. We're all settled. We're gonna put a bit of YouTube on and just relax. Hopefully we have a fish in the night. If not, we'll see you in the morning. Nighty night. Morning. This is our second morning. Woken up, it's eight o'clock now. We woke up about half past seven. It is absolutely chucking it down. Absolutely chucking it down. Yeah, we had no fish last night, but had a really good sleep. Had a really good sleep in that bed. Oh, both of us just fell asleep straight away and just woke up this morning now, so. Really good, might even take it home and uh, throw our, our bed out and start using that one. <laughs> We're good, a good bit half an hour. I might make a cup of tea and a coffee and then have a little look what's going to happen but it's supposed to rain until about five o'clock today it says but I don't think it's going to be uh, I don't think it's going to be that long I think it looks like about 12 o'clock I think it might stop but we'll have to see let's see what happens so I keep hearing a fish crashing out up until our left hand side I had a little look earlier and it was right up the top of the lake but I just heard it again and it looks like it's down by these lily pads so I'm going to show you down the bottom here this is the swim to us that we're not fishing. So we've got two swims, one there, one there. Let's just jump again, let's go and have a look. I'm going to put a rod up here to see all that. Look, 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 there it is. Looks like it's spawning or something, maybe. Look, so what I'm going to do, literally, it's been jumping out all the way out there. But I can actually get a rod on it from here look. So what I'm gonna do is move all the rods over one. I'm gonna cut that corner out and I'm gonna just move all the rods over one. So wherever that one was, that'll be that. And that uh, left hand rod I'm gonna put, hopefully, right in the middle here. If anything coming up from down there then, it's gonna, gonna see the maggots and the, the boilies. I should say I'll stand here for a few minutes just in case it jumps out again. 
I'm too impatient. I want to catch it. Right, let's go back and get that rod sorted out. We're going to have a little bit of lunch now. About one o'clock. No fish. It's been raining. Just stopped. About 10 minutes ago. We're going to have these. We sort two of the rods out, I think. Move them. See if we can catch another, another nice sized fish. With my plastic uh, container. <laughs> yeah, he's running away with my plastic <laughs> container. Look, he's taking the plastic container to squirrel. Little bugger. He's eating all the coconut off of it. Look, this is what he was eating. Look, he's nicked a snowball. He's that. That's what I'm saying, look. There's the evidence. <laughs> he's having that. He's up there eating the rest, look. What a cheeky little bugger. I've never known that, a squirrel to eat, eat a bit, take it up the tree. What a sneaky little bugger. Oi! Just packing up. It's about three o'clock now. No more fish, but we've had a lovely time. We just threw the rest of our maggots in over each of our rods. So, uh, so we've got we've got another couple of barrels or so. I'm going to take the first load up to the van now. Go and unload that, and come back down. And hopefully, on the way back down, I shall see Karina bent into a 30-pound carp. That'd be amazing. All right, so uh, we'll see you soon. Remember, if you like our content, hit that like and subscribe button and hit that notification bell. Don't forget to visit us at www.kickofthefish.com. Click here to watch another one of our videos.